Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Uh, I am going to be discussing today a procedure I had done for my prostate called Holeb, H-O-L-E-P. I had this done at the Scottsdale, Arizona campus of the Mayo Clinic. They took very good care of me, so I wanna say thank you. Uh, I will tell you how my week went. Um, for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, my surgery was on Thursday morning. And this is what, uh, at least for me, this is what you might expect to go through. Uh, they're very thorough. They ask a lot of questions. They do uh, not an overly a lot of uh, medical stuff per se, but they what they want you and get from you is what they need to be able to take care of you and do your surgery. And by all means, it wasn't it wasn't a lot, but what it was, it was good. So with that said, um, on March 18th, I had the intake nurse call me and she was just discussing my medical history and my upcoming surgery, what to expect, what to do after the surgery um, and things like that. So it, it wasn't a very long conversation, but it was a good conversation. Um, on uh, 319 that uh, I talked to Dr. Cheney and he was my doctor, Dr. Scott Cheney. And um, he uh, discussed my whole up surgery upcoming that was on the Thursday. Um, and we just went over procedures, uh, again, what to expect, um, especially uh, on his side. So yeah. That was that was a good talk with the doctor. It's always good and reassuring when the doctor you know, talks to you and you can ask him whatever question you feel you need, which I did. I also told them that they were able to record us if that's what they wanted to do, to put it on YouTube or his channel so that people that aren't familiar with Holip can at least see what uh, see what they were getting into, which by all, by all means, I, I'm a big Holip supporter having it done. I can feel a really big change in uh, how my prostate was doing. I was sometimes peeing up to 30 times a day and I just couldn't get off the toilet. And that, that has come down significant. Um, on March 20th, uh, that's I had my appointments at the Mayo Clinic and they did a blood test um, just to make sure everything is good for you know your anesthesia and uh, things like that. And then I also met with the anesthesiologist. He told me what to expect um, as far as uh, him putting me to sleep, talking about putting tubes in me uh, so that you can breathe and just anesthesia stuff. Uh, just, I would say normal stuff that you would have if you were going in for surgery. On March 21st, that's when Dr. Scott Cheney performed the whole lip surgery on me. Um, this was actually kind of interesting to me. Uh, I was in my, my waiting room uh, waiting for them to come pick me up so that they could take me over to the, to the surgery room. And um, they come in, people, I had my nurse there. She said anything I needed, don't, don't hesitate, she'll get whatever whatever it is that that I needed and they were like that with everybody. So very well and thank you, very well taken care of uh, by the uh, by the room nurse. The um, They came and they got me, but before they did that, they gave me as the, I believe it was the anesthesiologist, gave me a calming pill, even though I was already pretty calm and relaxed. Uh, I don't know what he gave me, but uh, I remember they picking me up. They rolling me down the hallway. They pushed me through the double doors going to the surgery room. They spun my bed around to start matching it up with the surgery bed. And then I don't remember anything at all after that. Whatever it is they gave me was, was A-OK. -okay. And um, I was out and uh, when I woke up, I woke up in a good mood and I was pretty happy and everything was, was was pretty cool um so it wasn't i had a turp then t-u-r-p and as dr uh cheney would say that's kind of barbaric now which i totally agree uh, i had the turp done they came in they take your prostate and then they 
take like you your tongue scraper and what they do is it's a little wire and it's a hot wire and they cut 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 it back but mine mine wasn't cut very far in because my doctor said I was bleeding and then my prostate which is your prostate surround I had like a thumb that was growing out off on the side that the doctor had to cut off and what Holip does is Holip is just imagine an orange and then going in with a little blender and just blending the inside out and then they suck it all out and they leave your prostate rind behind and this way uh, if they don't have to mess with any of the muscles or anything, you still have at least that tension up against um, against your urethra and stuff like that. So this way, because your your channel looks like this, uh, your urethra channel looks like this, and when it is blocked, it'll look something like this, and either there'll be a really small hole or it almost looks like it's butting up to each other and it's not giving any room. And what happens is your your bladder gets so full, it, it just makes room for it. And then it kind of collapses back on it. So and now I'm not a doctor, so I'm not here to give medical advice, but I can tell you what I've seen um, as well as from the Mayo Clinic, how it's supposed to look. And when your channel is open, it is totally open and allows you to pee freely. Uh, my peeing has upgraded 100%. Uh, sometimes, because I'm still healing. I had this done about a week and a half ago. And um, as one of the dates that I gave you, and that was March 21st of 2024. Um, it, it's, it's definitely worth checking into uh, with the Mayo Clinic. Um, depending on your insurance and stuff, they also have financial aid uh, if you need it. And so uh, they're, they do all kinds of things that are willing to help you and move you along in this process. Uh, the, going back to the Terp, uh, once he stopped shaving me because I was bleeding so bad, um, that was basically it. I had a catheter in for, I think, 10 plus days. It was horrific. And it was, uh, I cried most of the time. It was very incredibly painful. And um, I, I just hated it. I wasn't going to go back to doing that. Um, but with the whole hip, uh, in that area, it's like there's no pain. So there wasn't anything. The only thing that was painful with me and the doctor said is because of the anesthesiologist's medication, what he did was what he gave me. It tightens your muscles to the point of exhaustion is how they put it. And this way, your muscles release and relax. But I will tell you this. I was sore. I felt like they dropped me from the table on the floor a few times, kicked me in my ribs, and whacked me in my head before they picked me back up and put me back on the table to operate on me. Um, but I wasn't overly painful, but uh, very, very sore. Uh, but after about three days, it, it, it all went away. Um, here I am sitting um, in April, uh, April 4th. Um, and I can tell you that uh, um, I don't have as much problems in it. I would say 100% take a look at going into whole lip. Um, I was going to do the aquablation, but then I heard that sometimes the whole lip has to come in behind that and, and, and clear it up. But what they do call the whole lip is one and done. And I can see why. One and done. Um, I had a, just a little bit of bleeding afterwards. Um, and it kind of feels weird um, with the catheter, and which was, by the way, was overnight. So I had it, the surgery on Thursday, and by Friday afternoon, they took it out. But you get these things called bladder spasms. I don't really know how to explain them other than uh, filling a balloon up with water and then as you open that up, it kind of spits it, spits the water out, and then you kind of seal it back up, and then it filling it back up again. And then it just kind of, it just feels weird, like like putting your thumb on the end of a water hose and giving it a little bit and opening it up and giving it a little bit, but that wasn't bad. Um, didn't hurt anything, didn't mess with anything. 
Um, and when it was all said and done, I, I can say I was a happy camper and I'd like to thank Dr. Scott Cheney for taking very good care of me. I was very highly worried because I had the turf that failed and I just didn't want to be in that kind of pain again. And he assured me that I would, I, I would be in good hands and, and he delivered. So if you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask me. Um, share this video if you can with, with other, with other uh, guys and let them see that there is a choice uh, to be had. And uh, because it, it may not be the best of subjects to discuss, but I can tell you it's a necessary subject to discuss because all men gonna have it uh, women don't have prostates, we do, and we have to deal with that. Um, when you're peeing so much and you know it's just out of control, uh, you have to take care of it because what will end up happening is your 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 urethra will collapse under your prostate and it'll be 100% blocked. And then at that point, you're looking at going into the emergency room to have emergency surgery. Don't let yourself get to that point. Make sure that you know, if you're going to have that surgery, you pick the doctor, you pick the situation of how you want it done and when you want it done. Otherwise, you're going to go in. It's like kidney stones that don't pass. You know, if you don't get a chance to get that uh, urologist to take care of them kidney stones, then you're going to go into the emergency room. And I know because that's what happened with me. So they say most kidneys, not off the subject, but most kidney stones go in for emergency surgeries, because that's just the way that happens. But as far as the prostate is concerned, take care of it. Um, you will do no wrong by taking care of your prostate. And uh, mine was uh, 80, like 80 centimeters. So mine was big. So about the, instead of a size of a walnut, let's say it was the size of a big grapefruit. So that then that's what was my problem. So with that said, Thank you so very much for watching. Again, any questions, feel free to ask. Please share if you can. Um, you can like the video, you can subscribe. There is no charge for subscribing to my channel. My channel does a whole bunch of things uh, just for enjoyment and for people to uh, watch and enjoy themselves too as well. So with that said, thank you everybody. And I hope everybody has a, a, a great day today. Thank you.